guys and welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if this is your first time here so today I decided to create this fall inspired makeup look I really like the way this look came out if you like the way that it came out too make sure you keep on watching to see how I achieve this look don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you also give this video a thumbs up so yes if you like to see how I achieve this look then please keep on watching Okay, so of course I already have my brows done, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm gonna be using some concealer to prime my eyes. Next, I'm gonna move on to my Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And for my transition, I'm gonna be taking the shade Cayenne, which is the shade, let me see. Cayenne is the shade right here, this brown shade. And I'm going to apply that as my transition shade. So I do want to give you guys like a quick update, um, you know, about how I've been doing with my leg and, you know, with the depression and everything else. I know that I've been gone for quite some time and I was mainly be mainly gone because I tried to film maybe like five times. I feel like film like five videos, but they just didn't come out right. Like my energy was low and I just wasn't feeling it. So. I didn't want to post those type of videos because I just feel like I can't put that kind of content out. But um, mentally, I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. Like I don't feel as sad as I did before. Now that I'm so much better with my leg and I'm so much more independent when it comes to doing things, um, that just makes me feel a whole lot better. It feels so good to be able to go to work. You know, just driving my car. If I gotta go someplace, I can just hop in my car and go. I don't have to worry about people doing stuff for me and you know stuff like that so I feel great that I'm able to do my everyday normal life is back to what it was and that feels really good um, when it comes to my leg I'm definitely walking now I'm not walking with crutches I would say I'm probably about I would say like 85 to 90 percent um, healed um, because like I said, I'm walking without crutches and I have like a little limp. I know that when I wake up in the mornings, I guess for me not moving for so long, it's kind of stiff. And then when I'm at work, when I move too much, it stiffens up a little bit more then. But the pain is bearable and you know, everything's good. So I'm really excited. I'm really happy that I'm back to walking and just being normal again. Little things like that we take for granted, but I'm just so happy to be back to myself. Next, I'm gonna be going into the shade right here in Fuego, which is this darker shade. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. And I'm gonna use the same brush to put that in my crease. I'm really focusing this color on the outer corner of my crease, but I am also dragging it in as well. And I'm just gonna keep building up that color until I'm satisfied. I'm honestly not sure what kind of look I'm going for. Um, I do know that I want to kind of do a fall type of look, but we'll see. We will see how this turns out. Now I'm going to move on to a smaller blending brush. I'm going to be taking this brush, which looks like this, just to really get into my outer corner. And I'm also going to deepen up my crease just a tad bit. And I'm going to be taking the shade right here, um, this purple shade, Ashes. 
I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. This shade right here. And I want to use a smaller brush so that I have more control of where I'm placing this dark color. And I'm just going to lightly tap into it, tap off the excess. I'm just going to deepen up my crease. I'm kind of feeling like I want to do, I don't know if I want to do matte on my lid or if I want to do a shimmer, but let's see. I know that I definitely want to do some kind of like orange shade. Um, I think I'm going to keep it matte. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it matte. I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take this orange shade right here out of my Morphe. Ooh, this is my Morphe 35O Nature Glow Palette. I'm taking that orange shade and I'm going to place that on my lid. This mirror that I'm using is about dirty as shit. It's like I can barely see what I'm even doing. I'm going to go back in with that small blending brush that I use and I'm not going to put any more product. I'm just going to blend everything together. I'm going to take a liquid lips, not a liquid lipstick, a liquid eyeliner and I'm going to draw a thin line on the top. The keyword is thin, but we're going to see how it goes. As you can see, I wanted to do a thin line. I got thin here, but this eye, she's a little thick. So now I have to make her thick. Moving on to the face, I'm gonna go ahead and prime using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. For foundation, I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage foundation <laughs> and this is in the shade 356 warm coconut I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and blend that in with a damp beauty sponge For concealer, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade um, 30, which is Cafe, to conceal and highlight. I actually haven't used this concealer in a very long time. And now that I'm putting it on, I remember why I haven't used this concealer in a long time. It burns a little bit, like, I don't know, it burns just a tad. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer. I'm going to set that concealer with my Black Radiance True Complexion Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Banana. And while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face using my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in Medium to Dark. And I'm going to be taking the darkest shade to contour. Actually, I'm going to take the dark shade and I'm going to mix it in with the lighter one. So I'm going to use a little bit of this and this.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away this powder. I haven't really been in the highlighting mood for the past couple of months. So I'm gonna take this highlighter that's in the contour, the contour palette, um, this right here. This is a very, very subtle highlight. So if you're not looking to be like gleaming, you know, highlight to the gods, then this is a really good highlighter because it's very subtle. And I like that. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara to prep my lashes for false lashes. And I'm using the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara by Wander Beauty. This literally looks like a liquid lipstick. Um, when I first got it in my BoxyCharm, I was like, oh, okay, liquid lipstick. And then I opened it and I'm like, okay, mascara. And for lashes, I'm gonna be using the House of Lashes, and this is in the shade Bombshell. I've never actually used lashes from House of Lashes before. I've actually never used any kind of high-end lashes. I've only used Drugstore. So I'm kind of excited. These are my first high-end, even though it came in my boxy charm. And while my lashes are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lash line. Um, I'm thinking I wanna do my bottom lash line pretty dark. So I'm gonna be taking an eyeliner, this black eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and line my, my eye. Going back with my Naked Heat Palette, I'm gonna be taking the shades in Fuego and Ashes. I'm gonna mix these two shades and put them on my bottom lash line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna be doing the MAC lipstick in the shade Lip Tensity. To set my face, I'm gonna be using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I barely have anything left. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know that it's been so long since I sat down and recorded and actually posted a video, but I really do like the way this look came out and I'm feeling like maybe when I try to film again, I like the way that those looks come out. I'm not sure because I've been trying to record, but it's just not working out for me. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below, send me some kind of emoji. Um, Leave a purple emoji in the comments just so that I know that you watched the video. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one.